Welcome to Miss Jessica Scratch Class Lesson Four. Last time, if you remember, we created a, a sprite that looks like Pac-Man. We also create different customs that when the Pac-Man turns right, left, and closes the mouth, turn right, and closes the mouth, turning left. Also, we create a script to show how to use the up and down. And right arrow and left arrow to move the sprite. And today I'm going to show you how to create the background so the Pac-Man can move in the maze. And also we'll show you how to create the fruits or the dots that that the Pac-Man can eat. Okay, I start. The first thing what I wanted to do is I wanted to change the name of our sprite to Pac-Man. And I want to change how it looks when the Pac-Man is moving. So when the Pac-Man is moving right, I want to change the costumes to right. Let's go back to the scripts and click look. And here it says switching, drag this one, switching switching to custom and do right so now if you change the right arrow you'll see it switches to the, the right customs but the same way I wanted to go back to the left and the left arrow is pressed so click left so now when you move to the left you change costumes. Move up and down, we'll just leave the costume the, the way it was. So now, next, we want to go and play with the background. So this is the or stage or background. So to add a maze background so that the Pac-Man will move inside the maze, what we want to do, we want to pick a color of the background. So let's go in here, go to Edit, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make bricks or area that are of one color. So I'm going to pick green, so select green, and also select this rectangle tool to make sure the, the solid is selected, and just create some blocks however way you want. This is just for and you can always come back and add more. So I'm just gonna create some simple one. And make sure you leave enough space for the Pac-Man to to uh, walk over. So I might this this is a bit too narrow. So I'm going to erase it. By the way, the background you can see that the background is white. And then when I after I erase it, this area becomes um, transparent. So I wanted to actually fill it back to white, so it looks kind of nice. What I, what you could do is select the fill tool and click white and just fill this area. So now it's all filled with white and with the, with the, um, these bars that are green. Okay, let's click OK. Give it a try. So now our Pac-Man is a little too big to shrink it. Click the shrink sprite and just click on the Pac-Man several times until it becomes small enough to move through the maze. Okay, that's good. It's very good. Okay, so next up we want to add the sprite, add to the sprite to tell, add to the Pac-Man sprite to tell it not to walk inside the green. So right now if you can, you can walk inside the green with, with nothing happening. So to do that, Click Pac-Man and click the scripts tabs. And also, you can organize these scripts by moving them up kind of so that you have enough space over here at the bottom. Click Control and drag out the when green black is clicked. So, this chunk will only happen if you click the green flag. Okay, when green flag is clicked, I want it to check 
to keep checking forever if something happens and we're going to do something if this if something happens so what's going to happen we want to check whether it's touching green so drag this drag this sensor scrib into this air this this um slot and also click this color and then just turn to the eyedropper so just suck up the color now this color becomes the same color as these bars so forever you're touching the color dark green and if it does that you're going to move 10 steps or actually just one step so it will try to move away from the bars let's test it Okay, oh, I forgot to, cl to click the green buttons, the green flag. So now after I clean the, the green flag, you see that this now is activated. Do you see that? Now when I, when I click, when I touch the green bar this way, I get bounced off, but when I do it this way, I keep being sucked in, so you just have to move, fast, move the keyboard fast enough. Okay, that's good enough. Ooh. Okay. So next, I wanted to show you how to add another sprite. So, Pac-Man um, sprite that, that looks like food. So when Pac-Man eats those food, he, he could um, get some points. Okay, so let, let's do that by paint new sprite. And instead of drawing them, I'm just going to import some pictures, some food pictures. So click that, to costume, and go to things. Here there are plenty of food. I'm just going to pick the cheesy puffs. Okay, and then click OK. This cheesy puff is too big, so I'm just going to shrink it. Okay, after I shrink it, I'm going to move it somewhere. Pac-Man can get to, and they add more food. Gonna add. Oh. So I'll add food platters. There won't be too many selections. The same thing. And you can always create your own uh, sprite on any food that you like. So, how about this? I'm going to create a strawberry. Just gonna draw a strawberry. It's gonna look kinda ugly because I'm using a touch pad. But it should look like strawberry. Okay. The strawberry has dots. Dark red, so the red of the sweeter, right? Okay, now that's the leaves. After we put on the leaves, we're good. Okay, and then again, shrink it. Okay, we we're almost ready to test to make our Pac Man eat the fruit. Okay, to make to to um, make the Padman eat the food, the easiest way is to add to each of these sprites um, a, a special script to say if the if the Padman touches it, it will it will go away, it will hide. To do that, you go to um, Control and drag out again when the flag is clicked. And then you want to also do this forever if something's touched. Forever if touched, the Spider-Man touching, drag out this block. No, I'm sorry, not the Spider-Man. <laughs> the Pac-Man. Sorry about that. Drag out touching. And when you drag this out, 
put this um, upside down triangle and put Pac-Man. So if I'm touching the Pac-Man, I'm going to go into high because I've got just got eaten. And also want to make sure when I when the game first starts. So when the green flags is clicked, that shows that the game has started. When the game first starts, I want to make sure that I show myself. So I can continue playing the games. In the beginning of the game, all these food will, will show. And when they get touched by the Pac-Man, they will all hide. Because if they all gone, and disappear. So to copy, we can actually easily copy. Then let's test it by clicking the green flag. And then make sure, there you go, so I just did, I just did that, and click, click the green flag again, and touch the fruit platter, see it goes away. Okay, so now we're just going to do the same thing for the, the, uh, the cheese puff and the strawberry, and before we do that, let's rename this to fruit platter, and select the cheese puff, we name it to cheese puff and select strawberry, we name it to strawberry. Like spell, right? Oh, okay. And to copy the scripts or the control equals box, the easiest way is just to drag this and drop it in the cheese when you when you drop it into the sprite you can see that there's the the gray box around the sprite and just drop it same with the second piece just you see that just hovering over and you see that the the gray line is around the, the sprite let go and i'll go back to check go to cheese pop to check and look all these scripts are copied in the same way let's copy these scripts to the strawberry sprite. Oops. Um, drop it. Drop it. Check. All right. That sounds good. And let's test. Okay. Eat. I'm going to eat a cheese puff. All right. There you go. This is um, the end of uh, lesson four. Next time, next lesson, I'm going to show you uh, more interesting stuff. So come on back. See you later.